Hello everyone, it's Mr. Spinelli. Today we're going to talk about limits and continuity from a graphical viewpoint. Um, so we're going to use this graph for several different um, values of x. We're going to evaluate the limits from the left, the right, and then see what we can conclude about the two-sided limit based on those one-sided limits. And then we'll look at the function's value. Now all those things need to be equal in order for our function to be continuous. So let's get this party started. Um, so if we look first, as we approach negative 5 from the left, so as I come along this function, it appears I'm approaching a y value of 3. And as I come from the right, I'm approaching a y value of negative 1. So because those values are different, 3 does not equal negative 1, we would say the limit as x goes to negative 5 does not exist. And then because neither of the holes are filled in at x equals negative 5, so if I draw a vertical line, I don't pass through any solid points. So this function is also not defined at the point x equals negative 5. All right, so let's move to a different point. Now if we look at negative 3, negative 3 from the left, so I'm coming down this part right here. And it looks like I'm going down to negative infinity. And then negative 3 from the right, going up towards positive infinity. So because both of these limits are some form of infinity, we know we have a vertical asymptote there, which also tells us that the function is not defined at that particular point. And because these two infinities are different signs, the limit does not exist. So let's keep moving to the right. Now we're going to look at x approaching negative 1, but first from the left. So as I come from the left, I'm approaching this hole, which has a y value of 1. And as I approach from the right, I'm again approaching the same exact hole. So because those limits from the left and the right are the same, my limit as I approach negative 1 is 1. But the function's value is up here where it's filled in, and that's a y value of 2. So then I would need to state that this function is not continuous at x equals negative 1 because the limit does not equal the function's value. Just like at x equals negative 5 and negative 3, it was not continuous uh, for all of the reasons, basically. The function wasn't defined, and the limit didn't exist. So two strikes and you're out with continuity. Now if we move along and we go to 3, First from the left, it appears we are approaching a y value of negative 3 where that bottom hole is. And then when we come from the right, we are approaching a value of 1. Because negative 3 is not equal to 1, this limit does not exist. And the function is actually filled in at a y value of negative 1. Now this one would not be continuous because the limits from the left and the right do not equal the function's value. So, so far we've got no continuous points at x equals negative 5, negative 3, negative 1, or positive 3. So now we move on to 5 from the left. So as we approach 5 from the left and 5 from the right, both of these are going to positive infinity. Therefore, the limit as x goes to 5 is also positive infinity. Though sometimes people may say the limit doesn't exist because it's not a finite number, I can still say it's infinity because those are both approaching the same sign of infinity. And f of 5 is not defined because we've got another vertical asymptote, which is indicated by these, uh, these limits, telling us that we have a vertical asymptote. So now we go on to x approaching 7. This is our boring case. It's completely filled in. As we come from the left, as we come from the right, we approach a y value of 1. Therefore, our limit equals 1, and the function is filled in. There's no holes there. It is equal to 1. So because all of these values are the same, in particular these two, we can say that the function is continuous. Okay, and remember that these two have to be equal in order for this one to exist. And then the limit has to equal the function's value. 
So the last thing we're going to look at is limits as we go to infinity. Same graph, just zoomed out a bit. So first we're going to approach negative infinity. So as I ride this function down, there should be an arrow, but we can assume that thing's going to keep going down forever and ever. So we've got a limit of negative infinity. And then as we approach positive infinity, it appears this has a horizontal asymptote of y equals 1. So the limit as we go to, sorry, 0, going crazy, it's approaching the x-axis. It's getting really, really close to the x-axis. It appears it will not cross it, so we have a horizontal asymptote of y equals 0, which some of your teachers may write as this. Passy. So thanks for watching, and have a great day.